I I really joined the Marine Corps as a as a, a, a GWAT baby. I was born in I was born in eighty one. So you got to think when the Twin Towers went down, that was that, that sort of shaped uh, that, that that shaped my generation's experience with with the world. I, I was uh, I was basically a, uh, a sort of a classic underachiever. Did did like well enough in high school. Uh, started going to college because you know I mean you go to college after high school, right? Um, I, w- I grew up on I, I grew up on the familiar war stories, um, huge like Indiana Jones fan growing up, but really didn't have like really didn't have like a direction in my life. Um, I remember I, I remember sitting and watching the the planes crash into cl- crash into the Twin Towers on the morning of September 11th, and and everything kind of changed at that point. Uh, childhood best friend, um, a, a guy that I still uh, I still have a heart full of love for. Dan Neville had joined the uh, the Marine Corps Reserves in Michigan before September 11th, and so I think that that um, sort of planted a seed for, uh, you know, I mean, service is a it is it was an option for me um, after after September 11th. I think that the the lack of direction in my life uh, started to focus in on the potential of military service as being uh, as being a way to gather a little bit a little bit of that direction I knew I was lacking. Um, uh, as well as, as sort of some purpose and some identity in my life.